Hey, what's going on everyone? Hawks21 here, back with another Splinterlands video. So a little bit something new, or I guess not new, just something I haven't done in a while. Um, and I'm going to try to implement this a bit more in the channel, because I know you guys love it. We're going to do a bit more of live gameplay. Uh, so basically what I've found is, you know, in the mornings, I obviously wake up with a decent chunk of energy. Right now I have 10 because I played last night before bed. Um, but depending on if I play the night before, you know, I could have anywhere between, you know, 15, 20 energy. And I normally have these pretty good play sessions in the morning. So why not hit record and play some live battles? So that's what we're going to do. Um, you know, I'll be taking sips of coffee. It'll be kind of a casual thing, but we'll just get some live gameplay in. And hopefully, you know, we can all learn and try some new strategies together. Sometimes I'm going to try to win. Sometimes I'm going to try to do some funky lineups to experiment. Uh, this is sort of behind the scenes of my normal process where, you know, if I want to try out a card or something, uh, this is when I normally do it. So we're going to get into it. Before I do, just a reminder, I am Hawks21 and I cover Splinterlands here on the channel. If you are interested in this type of content, it would be awesome if you could take a second to subscribe to the channel. Um, our goal, I don't really have a timeline on this goal, but our next goal is 2,000 subscribers. We have a bit to go, so would really appreciate your support. And it uh, sort of helps motivate me to try to do more stuff like this. So let's get into it. All right. Battle number one. Okay. So this is just really a big anti-magic, good shield rule set. So we have Astral. Interesting. So we might, we might see this, right? Because if you're expecting ranged or melee this is a good play kelly uh ooh, don't see this very often we'll probably but we might see this as well this is a goblin mech interesting all right what i think we're going to do is right off the bat i'm gonna bring lux because it already has the um weak magic. Let's just go with a warm up, pretty standard play, I would say. This is something I do a lot. It has a pretty high level of success, as I'm sure you could imagine. Um, actually, no, you know what? We're gonna audible last second here. I've been wanting to try out some more stuff around this here. So this is what we're going to do actually. We are going to go here, here, and then let's see, what do I do for the last two spots? I want to bring, can I do this and then Deep Lurker? No, not quite. Um, Hmm. What do we got for five again? Maybe we'll just toss a bit of chaos out there with the gym meteor. Maybe it gets a good hit in. This is what we'll do. We'll try this. I just want to keep trying the. Um, oh, I forgot that he was gonna. I literally just said to myself, "We're gonna get the return fire." I wouldn't have brought this. I would have brought something else. That's okay. Let's see. This was a good play, actually. Ooh, interesting. I think we might take an initial L here. What's good is the sandworm is going to do work in the back a bit. That's actually a very good place for it to land. We're going to get in a little retaliate off here. Oh, these are very annoying. Oh, I mean, we just, I mean, it's really, <laughs> I mean, that just throws a whole loop in the battle. I think that ended up working out okay for us, I guess, because now they will finish that off, but I mean, hard to say that didn't, it appears like that was a good thing for us. 
our sandworm is going to do a lot of damage here to the back line. They don't have any triages or anything. You know, we have repairs and yeah, that ended up being good for us. All right, so it looks like we'll take battle one. I mean, that uh, it's, hard, it's hard to analyze a battle that has, you know, that type of <laughs> insane retaliate situation. But uh, it worked out in our favor that time. So, 1-0. I think that's a really powerful setup. Um, I really like using Pasibolus with the Archimist in the second position. All right. Let's keep it moving. All right. We have Poison kind of low here. Hmm. Let's see. I'm not sure. This is kind of tough. Sorry, I want to go back and see um, what my opponent plays. You know, last time I was able to basically predict the summoner he was going to use, but then I just forgot. So none of these, oh, we only get, so, okay. Interesting. Let's. These are like my least favorite splinters, so it's a little tricky here. Maybe we try something like like this will be something this will be weird. I've never done something like this before, so bear with me. We have enough. What if we did this? Like something really really stupid. We'll just put this up here. No, 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 no. We don't want this to get... I don't want to put this in because this will get the Resurrect. This is dumb. But I'm thinking maybe it'll take them so long to get through the Almo. If they bring a Sneak or something, it's over. We'll try it. This is one of those things where I like trying new things. I have the level 4 Usit. I've been looking for situations to use it in. Uh, you know, this seems as good as any. We'll try to boost it. They're doing a little boost play. Okay. This might actually work because they're not going to be doing a lot of damage to the Almo. I'm going to be able to heal up and we'll slowly just whittle away. Uh, it might work. I'm not sure. This, this will be in the Curse Wind Deku will be annoying to get through. I really want to get the Usit boosted up a bunch. Oh, well, that's a bad start. What's nice here actually is because he's gonna get resurrected. And then hopefully on top of that, I can get at least one more additional elimination. Right. Oh. So, but the other thing is, oh never mind, because we're about to lose this card here. So they're going to get a little boost here. So they have no heal though. So as long as the Almo can stay alive for a bit, I should get another boost. Which those misses are very helpful. I need two more turns to get a boost. And then I'll eventually get up to, it looks like five magic at least. Oh, those misses are huge. All right, I think I should be good here. Usit. I mean, Usit's a card that's going to be... I'm, I mean, I'm very happy that I got it early. Um, but Usit's a card that's going to be, I think, game-breaking. You know, the Almo obviously doing its thing up front. We're going to get another boost for the Usit here. And remember, one of the magic is actually being reduced by Thaddeus Brood. Another one... Yeah, and I mean, we have a 7-speed Almo with dodge. So good luck. And we'll get another boost here, I think, from the Usit. Alright, so the weird play works out. I mean, 
Martyr, Bloodlust, getting lucky and having a fully leveled up Gold Foil Usit. I mean, that's just being a good player, right? Not just a little pack luck there. All right, 2-0. That one was a little funkier than the first, but we like to experiment with new things. See, that's one where I'm going to go back, grab that clip, grab that battle, and I have a folder with links, or I have a document with links. And I'm going to put that in the with the Usit category, and eventually, you're going to get an Usit video. So now you're getting a little bit behind the scenes of uh, what can go on here. So the summoner, so melee with thorns, got it. The cripple's annoying because normally I would go with an Agor play. Hmm. We're definitely going to go Dragon because of the Silent Summoners. You want to just get as many cards as possible. So I like to go the lowest mana Dragon Summoner I have, which is Quicks at this point. Question is what now? Let's just look through some of our cards. What do we got here? Chaos Dragon, I think it's going to be a must play here. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a must play. Um, what if we do light? What does light have? This is a nice card. What does this leave us with? Because we could do something like this. And then I want to put here. Good. And then I want to bring a resurrect and a heal, maybe. Good. And then what do we got? We can do Ooh, I could get even crazier. We get a bigger boost. Or it'd be better to bring another heal is the question. And then a slow. Uh, I don't know if I like that. Run out of time. Alright, why don't we just bring the spirit hoarder? And then here. All right. Try that. So again, trying to do something where we boost up our main guys. So this, I mean, Chaos Dragon versus Chaos Dragon. That's going to be, I think that'll have a lot to do with who gets on top here. I'm not worried about the Bakjira if I can take care of everyone else uh, just because of the cripple. So I'm not worried about like losing in fatigue here. I mean, they, they did a really good play here. They're just going to do a lot of damage. Uh, the Thorns helps. That was an okay spot for the Chaos Dragon to hit. Hopefully my Chaos Dragon can hit their Deep Lurker. Ooh, actually it's annoying because I didn't want the Resurrect triggered here. I didn't want the Resurrect trigger here. Didn't hit those directly. They just have they have too many um, They have a bunch of triages, which is annoying Okay hanging around here Yeah, chaos dragon was just such a good play on both by I mean by both of us It's gonna really determine like them. That's such an annoying place for my chaos dragon hit right and then they just took out a blind to my triage. I do have another blind though, so that's less of a thing. This is gonna be our first loss though, for sure. Yeah, our Chaos Dragon's hitting in very annoying spots. And theirs is uh, being a bit more successful, right? Like right here, we could take out the Deep Lurker if our Chaos Dragon hits in a good spot. No, we couldn't. Their triage is this is a good card, Scale Doctor. I have it, but I have it. I don't have it fully leveled up. Oh, we did hit the uh, Chaos Dragon there, but it's going to be too little, too late. I can promise you that. Ooh, 
yeah, their triages are just going crazy. Let's see where we hit. Now is a good spot to hit for sure. We just need a bunch of misses here. Which who knows? Maybe we'll get. There's one. We do have the blind. But we're gonna need more misses than that, and we're gonna need like don't hit the Bakjira. It's kind of an annoying place to hit. We really want to hit straight in the middle. Need misses. Here's another miss. Miss? Yeah, we're running out of time here. Oh, we see, we could have taken out some people in the back here that would have been meaningful. Uh, but unfortunately, didn't happen. And now, yeah, we're not gonna be able to do anything. All right, two and one. That was a good play by them. A Little bit of bad luck on our part. Ooh, we get to see the new rebirth. Up close and personal rebirth. So generally, right, I'm thinking scavenger is good here. Um, Bloodlust is good. Martyr is good. Mm. Overall, though, do I just go big melee attack? Just like call it a day. Right, because that has that has like my best melee capability right here. This is some really good individual cards. Like the antelope platoon here is great because you're gonna get scavenger and it has shield. And then I mean honestly, astral is good here too. I think what we're gonna do is the possibilist play again. We'll get a little bit of a possibilist video. Uh, I'll talk about it in a second. Just want to get a full picture of what I'm going to be doing here. Do I just play the Kulu? Just get another opportunity in because I have the mana. Mm. I play this in the back line is a little bit of a distraction. Get some thorns damage in. And something like this. This could work. Yeah, we'll just try this. Why not? I'm just going big melee play, right? Like Kraken has demoralized, Deep Lurker has demoralized. We're spreading it out a little bit, which is annoying, but I want to double up on the sneak. Deep Lurker has the poison, which works well. And then these two buddies up front. Then after they do get through the Kraken at some point, they'll have to go through the Deep Lurker. So that'll do, be doing some Thorns damage, etc. Yeah, we'll just see how this goes. I'm just trying to do... There's no like particular play here. I'm just doing my best melee monsters. My best melee monster setup. Yes, yeah, so they got Kraken. It's interesting. They did him in the second. Very similar plays here. They have three Demoralizes and an... So they're going to be doing a lot more damage than I am, but they have, he's under leveled. So he doesn't have, he doesn't have retaliate. So I can get some retaliates if he can't. Uh, this will be interesting. How this crack and how this breaks down up front with the cracking will be key. I think I'm feeling okay. I think the shield is nice. But they are really, I mean, as you can see, I mean, look, look at our melee damage. We're having a hard time. That poison's really nice. And then we'll have them. So that works. Are we going to, ooh, they get the poison. But the retaliate works nice. Okay. They get a retaliate, nice, because they can't retaliate back. All right, now they retaliate. It all helps. Oh, rebirth, right. I totally forgot about the main point of the rule set. Oh, I forgot we get sandworm tramples here. If you put a taunt in the front against Possibilis, my sneak cards will get tramples. Forgot about that. All right, so that, that, that exchange worked out nicely for us. We land that hit. As long as we don't get some annoying stuff here. That's great. The retaliate ones are already gone. It's great. 
because I can't, doesn't matter about my thorns damage. See, now they're going to be distracted in the back there. I would love some dodges back there, maybe. Ooh, we can't hit anything. We will hit a trample here, which will have it, so that's great. Ooh, it's a really annoying retaliate. So now he'll be gone to thorns. Nope, never mind. Forgot we don't attack again. There we go. There's a good miss. There's a great poison. All right, now it's coming together a little bit. These new rule sets are fun. Possibilis, you can get some really great Possibilis lineups. I've been really loving Possibilis. These tramples. It's always great when you get that backline trample into a poison. We didn't get it there, but that's generally, uh, it gets me pretty amped up. Oh, the Archimus hadn't even used its rebirth yet, so now everyone's going to get shields back. Oh, yeah. That's another, Archimus is a great card to play in this rule set for that reason, right? All of these guys had lost their shields. But Archimus gets resurrected, or self-resurrected, I should say, and everyone gets their shield back. It's awesome. It's like it's not something I was thinking of beforehand, right? But now, as I play this rule set more and I experiment more, it's something I'm gonna remember. I think we'll do uh one more. You know, these aren't meant to be super, super, super long, just couple battles to show you guys. What are we? We're three and one now. So hopefully we, if we end on a win on this next one, we'll call it. Nice. Nice little six SPS. Definitely going to need that. All right. Yeah. This will be good. This will be our fifth battle. We can aim to do around five. You know, some days if I get frustrated, I might tilt and do a ton. Or if things are, you know, going really, really smooth, maybe I'll play some more. But I think five is a good, uh, you know, goal is to go at least three and two. We have a chance to go four and one here, which would be a great first session. I hate reverse speed. Okay. Reverse speed and uh, enrage fun okay okay so they got some cards here I think what we're gonna do is this setup we need the Cosair four speeds kind of high Four speeds kind of high. I don't know if I'm going to regret doing that. However, we are going to try it. I don't want to bring this uh, because of the speed swiftness. Ooh, you know what I'm going to bring? Where are you? I'm going to bring the Rooney. I'll put the Rooney. I'll put the Rooney here. This is great for this rule set because it's really slow. It won't take blast damage. Um, and yeah, I'm not bringing enough heals though is the problem for my shield bear, but we'll just do it. We'll see how this works. I'm half ignoring the speed rule set, right? Like I didn't go super, super, super slow. Uh, it looks like we're probably gonna get a same versus same, but they'll probably have more leveled up cards. Yeah, oh, maybe less leveled up cards. Yeah, they have less leveled up cards. Ooh, but this is one of the situations where it's nice to have an underleveled Adelaide, right? Because he gets to bring Adelaide Brightwing and not have to worry about the swiftness. Oh, but his shield bear is a little under. Hmm. I don't know. The the under leveled cards means a little less, I think, in reverse speed. You know, out, there could be some key abilities, right? Like, for example, if this Corsair wasn't leveled up for the Reflection Shield, but some of this helps, right? Like, not having the Swiftness. I would, I would have brought this card if I, if it didn't have Swiftness. And you know, lower level cards are generally a bit slower. I think we might be in, some, we're gonna be in some trouble here. Oh yeah, we're in some big trouble. 
because he also has two resurrects. And I mean, we're not hitting poisons either. Yeah, we didn't hit a poison. <laughs> oh, that's tough. Yeah, I didn't bring enough. Um, I didn't bring enough heals. That's what got us. Didn't bring enough heals. That's frustrating. It's my shield bear. No, oh, hurt. There, see, and that's the other thing. There is this lower level. So their shield bear actually goes first. That's just a brutal setup. Can we hit a poison, please? No poison. Come on. Zero poisons. Four shots and no poisons. That is insane. Have we used two resurrects? Have we used both their resurrects? I'm talking as if you can talk back. I'm just... Oh, and then the enraged. Now I won't go. This is brutal. I can't believe we didn't hit a single poison. I don't even know if this is going to be it. No, see, we didn't. <laughs> Watch, no poison. Hey, we hit a poison. Nice. Oh, that's. That is so frustrating. So, so, so frustrating. Oh, that is brutal. Uh, oh, and now, great. <laughs> yeah, we're no shot are we ending on that one. That one was BS. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it might be decent here, but the, all their magic's gonna go first. So we're gonna get eliminated. That was, I think, pretty unlucky. I know the percentage down there says 26%, but that percentage is never right. I should really turn it off. All right, we gotta end on a win. This is where we could potentially go full tilt mode. We're gonna bring in more Talus here. Even though, ugh, there's not that many good options. I hate magic only rule sets. What do we have? See, this is a good card in this setup here. The problem is if they go Immortalis, I then just, there's just not a lot of damage to go around. I just don't have a lot of good Immortalis magic cards. I have to go Immortalis, but I don't have, I don't have the damage either because if they go Immortalis, then I'm screwed. I guess I'll just bring this for the speed, I guess. Right? Yeah. Sure. This is gonna be bad. I guess I'll just bring this in case they don't bring Immortalis, I guess. Sure. All right, we are going to lose this and we're gonna have to play another one. We're gonna do something like this. Yeah, we'll just do this. This isn't gonna work. Mm, they didn't go in Mortalis. Still don't think this is gonna work. Uh, it might work. This is annoying. That was a good play. We might be fine. They're not gonna be able to do a lot of damage at all. Right, half their four people on their team won't be able to hit. Poisons will be annoying. But I think we're fine. We'll see. <laughs> Obviously, it's the stun. No damage, no damage, two damage. We get that poison, which is nice. No damage. The heal's not. Yeah, we got this one. Woo! Okay. I'm so scarred from this rule set of all, a lot of the old, like untamed even before that. Ooh, that was a nice recharge. I love playing recharge monsters in this rule set as well. But a lot of the old um, earth cards, whether that be untamed or even before that, beta, alpha, they have silence and magic. There's a, there's a few of them. So there's a lot of plays where you play Immortalis and your opponent does too, but your opponent, uh, or my opponent, I should say, just has way more of cards with silence. 
So they have void and I literally can't do a single damage. And it's very frustrating. But that one was easy. All right, we're gonna end it on that one. In general, if it's wands out, only magic monsters. Generally a good strategy to bring a Mortalis. I think we went four and two, moved up from diamond three up into you know the bottom part of diamond two. Generally at this point, we're, we can get into diamond one without too much stress. Uh, but yeah, so that was my first one of these. If you liked it, leave a comment. Uh, let me know that you want me to keep doing these. They're not hard to do. Uh, I just gotta remember to do them and actually just take the time to do it. Thanks for being here. Uh, please like and subscribe. I will talk to you guys soon and see you around the game.